Hey everybody, this is Ghostfang, and we're here to try out some wholesome Lords of Mayhem. Uh, we're just going to be doing some playthrough of this. Uh, don't know if I'll make it a series or anything. Just want to let everybody see how the game is. Um, it's kind of a combination of uh, Path of Exile and D3. With all the best things from the two. I'm not sure it's weakness yet. haven't entirely found it. Um, other than... It is an early alpha game, so it's, you know, it's incomplete, and they're still working on a lot of stuff. As you can see, we have a dodge roll, which is very nice. It uses stamina, and let's hide that. Our stamina is this little green stuff down here. Little green blobs, balls, whatever you want to call them. Okay, what's this? Say? Choose your reward. You guys start with fireball. Or start with lightning strike. I'm gonna choose lightning strike. Open our inventory. And we'll learn this. Okay. So this is our essential first move. Oop. Don't know why I did that. Didn't mean to shift tab anything. Okay. Dodge roll space bar. <laughs> or we'll just run into it like a Spaz. We'll, we'll call it that. Alright. Okay. That's what that looks like. Really, really cool. As you see the bottom meter, they're going left and right. That's our spell, I think it's like arcane or something like that. I forgot what it's called exactly. Umbra. And the right is our rage. So basically, we have full umber right now, like a thousand out of a thousand, and as we use it, we'll gain more rage, and then we use the rage to do skills. So it's kind of like a back and forth. Rotate the camera, I don't really care about that, so let's not do that unless we come upon it. Needing to. There you go. Not enough rage. Not enough rage. Okay, and as you can kind of see here, this game has some interesting environmental effects of spells. If we shock somebody who's standing in water, it will spread that shock to the other people. If you, say, shoot a fireball at a tree, uh, that tree will catch fire. So yeah. Hey, right, see, there we go. Okay, so there's no easy way to close that. <clears throat> Let's keep going. Just shock everything to death right now, because why not? We could do whatever we want. No clue what that does yet. I think maybe it's Rage Bar. Okay, we got a shield. Didn't auto equip it, so we'll do that. I might have that feature turned off. I think I probably do. But we'll uh, just keep going here. Yeah. Shock everything. We're shockadin. We are the true shockadin. And this game is really a lot about exploring too. So if you just randomly run off the road, you might find things, such as this chest full of gold, which is not really much use to us right now. Just ignore these enemies. Keep moving forward. This is kind of like a tutorial area. So. 
Let's see, there we go. Inflict damage to with Umbra, get rage, keep hitting with weapons. You know, that sort of stuff. You don't have to use spells to gain rage, it's just one way of doing it. Like, you could attack to gain it. Right? Aimed at the wrong guy. <laughs> we blew up the guy we were aiming up. Okay. Don't hesitate to switch between your spells and melee. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna go all spell on this. to get some more umber back. Now we have that little grayed out thing, which means that we're pretty full on our rage. Or, we've used all the rage or something like that. I haven't exactly figured out what it does, but it's just like, kind of like we can't spin past that when it gets whited out. And one, brief, one thing I do have about this game is that when you're in cutscenes, you don't seem to be immune to damage. <laughs> so, just a heads up, uh, bosses aren't normally that easy. It was just exceptionally easy because I'm playing a caster, or at least using my spells. Fireball, I don't think is as strong here. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but I have a feeling that the lightning just is a lot stronger in this specific area because of the water that's all around. But who knows, maybe the fireball could light all this, like, grass or moss, whatever it is, on fire. Okay, let's kill the last of these guys. And then travel to the next zone, like he wants us to. And it is right here. First time with waypoints, right? Don't worry, you'll get it. He's making fun of me for not hitting the waypoint right. Oh, a little bit of lag. I do have this on the highest settings just so people could see the graphics. Um, my computer could run it, maybe not the best at the highest settings, but yeah. I have a feeling it will need to be adjusted a bit more. Sure, we'll do that. FPS. Foreign mode. Low mode. It can greatly improve for us. Disables many graphical effects and can result in breaks some brighter elements like the hair. Angry player light. Huh. Wind Slayer. I don't really care. We'll do that. Yes. Maybe it will help us a little bit. Okay. Go on to town. Yes, yes, it is a very pretty town. Thanks. And there's no way to skip this. Okay, I understand. Okay, so we need to go forward. There are a lot of different weapons in this game. Uh, there's also a lot of different skills and abilities. We just have to unlock them or find them. Just talk to this guy. Oh. So there's no quick talk button yet that I know of. At least I've just never been told it. If you guys actually wanted to know what he said, feel free to pause the video and read it. So we talk to this guy. Choose something, so I'm gonna go for this armor. Okay. 
let's see here. One moment. Uh, just messaging a friend. Okay. Back to this. Okay, so we got more equipment. Hey, now we're not, not like a half-naked man. Okay, let's go over here to this. So this is the skill tree. Um, it may look confusing, kind of like Path of Exiles, but in my opinion it's a lot less confusing than that. Because you start off with three points. You pick into one of these. Um, I think we kind of want to play a little bit of an Arcanist. Um, maybe Thief for the Passive. Your attack speed and spellcasting speed lowers your defenses. Kind of a. Yeah, let's try that. And. We'll go for some spellcasting speed. Actually, let's uh, minus that real quick. And we'll go with this passive. So then we could stealth if needed. Um, anyways, the cool thing about this system is you go down paths, you get abilities. Some of these abilities aren't fully unlocked yet, like these grayed out ones. Um, and you go into the next tier. And you can you could get abilities, you get a lot of passives, stuff like that, but um, you could actually, over on the side over here, click on the things. See, and then you rotate them. So you mix and match things. So, like this is Gladiator. This is Legionnaire, we could, you know, mix and match to try to make it so our Arcanus connects to Gladiator. You know, so on and so forth. Uh, so far, it's only Tier 1 and 2 fully unlocked, um, but still needing to probably be updated. I'm sure they're going to change some things. Um, and then Tier 3 only has Assassin currently. So, Tier 2 has... Well, let's go back to tier 1 real quick. So tier 1 has Guardian, Quintessential Tape, Marquinez, Spellcaster, Legionnaire, probably like a, you know, attack warrior type, Hunter, obvious, it's your range combat d damage dealer type, um, and then Thief, which I think is more of a, kind of like a support tree. There are some bonuses for Dagger and stuff like that, but... It, well, I guess it supports your build, not other players. Anyways, you go into the second tiers, and you get things like Elementalist, makes you better at casting. Trickster, makes you tricky. <laughs> um, then you get Gladiator, you know, probably to prove more on the Legionnaire type. Maleficent which I think is, they're kind of like Necromancer-esque. And then Warden, which is your uh, improvement on the tank. And then, as I showed you, third tier was Assassin. And... Let's see, we want to try to get Elementalist into a good area. But we're not there yet, so we could actually decide as we go what we're going to end up doing. Um, yeah. So let's go and confirm our changes. We'll exit out of this. And then our skills, I believe, are S. So we have our skills here, so let's put Spellbinder down here. Uh, put this down here because it's a stance. Put this down here. We'll unlock more as we go, as I said, but for now, we'll just go with these. Okay, let's talk to this guy again. Oh, right, we gotta click on this. Talk to you. And now we need to go further. So, 
if we look at the map, it's up that way. I don't know the button for mini map. I'm sure it's here somewhere. But basically we just have to run out of town and run this way. And go into the world and start exploring, killing things and having some fun. What stance are we in? Battle art. We are in defensive stance. So let's be offensive. We'll go offenses, give us the bonuses to attack things. And we unlock more slots as we get higher level, kind of like Diablo. Okay. Let's change the graphic settings just a little bit. Let's see if we could run it a little bit smoother for you guys. No. Uh, anyway, we'll just pop it to low. Yep. Slight screen freeze. Well, just <sighs> the game still needs optimization, in my opinion. Um, it is awesome to be on the Cry Engine. I know my PC needs optimization. You know, that's something I definitely want to do. Um, just have to be able to have the money to do it. But until then, we'll just go with what we have. Come on, game. There we go. Okay. See? A lot smoother. Not as graphically appealing, but a lot smoother, so... More gameplay appealing. Careful, dark creatures, blah 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 blah. Okay. Yep. Basically, we're gonna have to start killing things. That's all he's telling us. Everything must die! Hey look, we already found a little special area over here. Nope, let's not do that. Let's spend our rage. And we'll try to go down here. Okay. Got some enemies here. Try to get these guys off him as best as I can. Okay, there we go. Go rid of that. Oh. Okay. I should probably run away a little bit. We currently don't have any potions. And we're taking a lot of hits here. We need to get some better care before we fight that guy, so. Oh, oh, or we should have possibly spent our actual points for leveling up, which you could also do right here. If you see, you could tell what everything does. So let's increase our spell damage and get a bit of toughness. Um. That should help us, actually. Kind of like Paragon points from D3. Probably would have been smarter if I spent in them in the first place. But, you know, you make mistakes. And you learn from them. Okay. So I do still want to go down there. Um, I'll, I'll try fighting him again. Maybe it will be a bit easier this time. I wasn't really doing my skills as best as I could. Oh yeah, as you can tell, your teammate's kind of useless. Look, we got a gold ring. Let's see, does this give us anything? Maximum resource in our pool. Okay, sure. We'll get a bit more spell damage or, or spells out before we have to stop. There we go. 
That's not that bad. Okay. Put some more points in here before we pull the guy. Crit damage modifier, attack speed, defensive ability, dodge chance, critical chance, movement speed. See, that's why like, I kind of would like to play just a pure ranged, ranger type character. Be really, really fast, run around and stuff, but I also want to give this a try. So, hey, look, we blew that up really fast. Let's go all out on this guy. Oh, he saw us before we got to go all out. Now we're doing a lot more damage to him. There's our teammate being useless again. Okay, there we go. These little guys aren't really a problem. It definitely was that big guy because we couldn't hit him. Enchanted Staff of Lightning, that might help us with some of our ranged combat. So we're not completely stuck in melee constantly. Um, okay, so it looks like alt shows us all the stuff on the ground. Check out what we got. We got a staff and some thief boots. Jelly defense dodge chance. Sure. Two brutal strikes. Deals damage nearby enemies depending on your equipped weapon. Whoa. Whoa. Hey! We got a sacrificial blade. Looks like it's a dagger. Placing us one extra charge and gains charge faster. Blade Slinger. You may gain one blade slinger charge when forming a dodge roll, but you lose all of them when you are hit. No clue what Blade Slinger does. I think it's an ability. We already know Bird of Strikes. So I think that's our normal spell. So let's just continue forward. bit of flag here. Oh, fine, huh? Found another wood point. That's perfect. Just gonna shock everybody to death while we can. Okay. We do have some points here to spend. I don't know if it pauses the game, so if we start dying, we'll suddenly find out, right? Uh, cooldown of all your spells. Can't reach a skill yet. Oh, we gotta go with this. Okay. We'll do that. Yep, an upper globe. During two six picking up rage globe. Okay. Um health globe understanding. Club magnet. Okay, 5% uh, of your sacred or shadow damage. 2% on regeneration. That would be nice. And what's this? Physical resistance when your umber is empty. Spell damage when your umber is full. Willpower. Okay, we'll go with this. Ah! So it doesn't appear like it paused. But that's alright. We didn't get hit, and he was protecting us, so it's not entirely too, uh, like a big problem for us right now. Definitely later in the game it would be. I'd very much like to get more spells. Ooh. The aesthetics of this place is kind of cool. Oh, and one last thing I forgot to mention that there's actually a skill level up system in this game. Um, so if I go to Lightning Strike, so you see, uh, as you level it up, by using it or selling other skills and putting the points towards it, um, you get to do stuff and advance it. And eventually it will become stronger. I think it only works on certain skills, so not every skill has a skill level up. 
But yeah, who knows? Maybe they'll put in more in the game. Not exactly sure. So it looks like we have a chest over here. Let's kill these guys and then leave that chest. Okay. Uh, we got a hood. Thief's hood. Still better than what we have. So right now we're using a lightning staff. Which looks like that. And we could try a ice staff. Well, that's kind of cool. Let's see how well that works. Test it against some enemies. Okay, so now this is time where it looks like we need to turn the camera. Get it in a good position. There we go. I'm not sure what's going on with it. Maybe you have to actually hit an enemy for it to. Oh no! Only leveled up again, that's good. Oh, there's a big guy over there. <laughs> oh, there's not a big guy over there. Let's try that. Let's see how that works out. Print his armlet. Definitely more visually appealing. That's yeah, actually pretty good, too. Other staff. Pickaxe. Did we just get a pickaxe weapon? That's kind of weird. Okay. Um. It's an axe. Hmm. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. Number generation. It's one more damage than what we have. One less percent spell damage though so I'm not sure if the trade-off is worth it but um, okay we need to turn our camera back to the proper direction ah ooh umber staff now, umber staffs are fun I've got to try this one out before so I'll show you what it's like but um, one thing I want to note the difference of is uh this game, you have both left and right shoulders, same with gloves. So, more equipment slots. I'm surprised they didn't do left and right boot too, but <laughs> hey, they did. This is Umbra Staff. Create a freaking black hole, shoot out beams. Or, well, I guess shoot out homing missiles of Umbra. Oh, hiding in the darkness. Hi, dude. It's another down point. These guys. They do home, which is good. Okay. Is there a way to get in there? Hmm. Maybe not that way. Shock everything to death. Okay, we don't really care about that then. What's this? Blazing Undead. Stronger Undead here. Oh, that guy's coming after us. Level four, so. Okay, let's go down here, see what this is. Oh, see, now we have our first potion, which is going to be on, I think, Q? Not exactly sure. Okay. Hmm. A little bit worried that there's no enemies in here. I'd like a mass pickup, that would be great. Uh, battle axe. Hey, we got our first cloak. Don't we look fabulous? Oh, and I need to remember to use dodge more. I'm just not used to using it because of the D3 and stuff, but I have a feeling it will play out well if we do start, you know, actually using it properly. 
Looks like we have a fat guy in there. Let's see if we can nuke him. Nice. Bye, fatty. Oh. 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 Got a special mob. Doesn't seem like that special mob gave us anything special. Oh, we can actually attack the graves. Okay, you do get some stuff from attacking graves. Not sure it's worth it to go kill all of them, especially if we have to single target all of them. Kinda wish they would take like big AoE hits. Oh, just out of range. Come on. We can hit you. We can kill your friend. There we go. Okay, let's go check this place out. Ooh, I hear a big guy. Something over there. No, we have a guy in front of us, but that's fine. Thunderbolt. We got another tone. Oh. Let's go with that. And, and, that guy in the back, that guy right there, big old guy coming towards us, Whew. kind of scaring us a bit there dude. Okay, everybody in here is dead, free to loot. Ah, we got a better staff. Okay, let's see. Major bracers, better gloves. Another ring. Um, thief's outfit. Let's see what else do we have here? We have the thunderbolt. Launches a lightning orb. Okay, right, and staff of fire. And it's actually, like, better quality. Boom. Okay, and we did level up too, so let's spend some more skill. And we'll put more into this. And a little bit into this. We want to keep increasing our toughness too. We don't want to be completely glass cannon. I know we're kind of doing that right now. And six skill points to spend. What's this? Okay. Rage conservation during one second when your armor becomes empty. Okay, sure. Minus. Oh, makes armor cheaper. Armor and rage constant. Okay, that's that's useful. I'm gonna increase the linear with current number. Okay. Where's the oh yeah, yeah, we wanna get that. Given by your willpower levels. Sure. Increase your damage. Most your spells depending on your total ferocity. I don't um, we get two frosty. Stacking willpower will increase your damage a lot. Remember, it's full. Bonus decreases linear issue. Yeah, let's go for a lot more umbra increase. Okay, that sounds good. And then we'll confirm it. There you go. So we just went for a lot of damage. We basically spiked damage like crazy. Um, and then we got that lightning skill. So let's drop battle art off. I don't think we actually need it on our bar. So if we drag this down here, we'll put that there, and then put that there. New skill. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Exactly what it described. Oh, one thing I should have checked. Oh, Thunderbolt has a shorter duration. Will explode when disappearing. 
Interesting. They're hitting enemies. That bolt moves faster. Higher damage rate hitting enemies more often. We just skill on Burkos. Cool. Let's go find something to use it on. Oh. Looks like we're back into another underground. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, and of course the, the tree blocks us completely, but I don't think the staff counts for lighting something on fire. I think it has to be a spell. Oh, there's a special guy there. He didn't drop anything either. So let's go into this. Oh, actually, before we really get into this, just notice one important aspect. There we go. Get that waypoint. Now we could go back into this. Turn our view. Oh, he's already down here killing things. Kill all of you. Kill all of you. Okay, the dude who's throwing up needs to die. And you need to stop taking forever to kill things. I think we just gotta clear out the area for this guy. So it seems like that move is like the highest damaging move I have currently. Okay, so I think they said go to the next room. So, yeah. So we definitely have a lot of spell power. Let's just basically kill over. Everything must die. Die, 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 die. There we go. Okay. Oh, somebody sees this. Okay, let's get our umber fully charged and then we'll just blast away at this guy. Definitely need to mess with our umber generation. Yeah, that definitely that, uh, worked out great. Kind of wish I had a Rage Spender with a little bit more range on it. That would be cool. Tell them what about Brutal Stripes. So, we'll uh, save that and sell it to the vendor who will actually give us more um, skill currency or whatever it is called. And then we could upgrade skills better. Assassin's Wasteman, crit damage. With weapons. With all your spells. So, that should. If I read that right, that should make our spells cool down faster. Um, okay. Okay, so, looks like that's that. Let's go back and save this guy. Apparently we're gonna throw spells at him. Maybe he'll die. Okay. That looks like that's our first real quest completed. And now our path continues this way. And the cool thing is, if you ever, say, want to change your spec, you could actually just go back to town and talk to the vendor, or talk to the big orb, and completely change your build. But I think that's where I will call it for today. And, uh,. You know, I may upload a few more of these depending on how many views or, or you know, comments or something this uh, video gets. So, later.